in the streets of North Dublin where Stephen Gately grew up. He was mourned by thousands. Last night, his bandmates stayed with his coffin. They didn't want to leave him alone in the church. This afternoon, clearly shattered, they remembered the man they called their little brother. I think this is the best place in the world to be for him today. This is where he grew up. This is where he dreamed of being a pop star. And these are real people, you know? Everybody's here for the right reason today, and they're going to support his family and his mother. Among those attending the service, many household names from the world of showbiz. I think it's wonderful that so many people have turned out to, to honor Stephen's life, but I just feel incredibly sad. I, I lost a dear friend, and so early and so soon. And as someone who was at a stage where he was his most happiest in his life, and um, it, just, it just seems so unfair. I can't really make sense of it. Inside the church, the service was kept as a private event. It was decided by the family not to have cameras film it. But speakers attached to lampposts and trees relayed the service to those gathered outside. Boy's own sang a personal but undoubtedly difficult tribute and spoke fondly and with emotion about the man who they spent many years with. A beautiful man who was now the perfect angel, forever young and never forgotten. A man, a friend, a brother, a son, a husband and a hero. We're gonna really miss you, brother. We love you. We always will. And we know you have found peace. Perfect peace. In 33 years of life, Stephen Gately achieved a lot. So much of that life and success as a member of Boyzone. His four remaining bandmates, who travelled the world as a group, carried out his coffin, the five of them together, for the final time. Alistair Bunker, Sky News.